Hello, good people of the internet. Did you know that you can actually write custom functions inside of Google Sheets? Chances are, if you're watching this video, you didn't know that. And, but many of you may know that, I don't know. I certainly didn't know that for many years when I was using Google Sheets. So I just wanted to help you kind of add some, add some power to your life uh, by explaining how these custom functions work at the simplest level. Here we go. I have a, um, have a, an empty Google sheet loaded in my browser. The first thing I'll do is let's just type my name in here, Ben Lieb, and maybe we can start with not a custom function, but a built in function. So if you start typing the equal sign and, uh, the name of a function, you'll see the, um, autocomplete info pop up here. So, Hyperlink creates a hyperlink inside a cell. Let's go ahead and use this one. First, I'm going to do it wrong just so you can kind of see something that I was confused by early on. So this signature takes two arguments. And the first one is going to be an address. Let's do HTTP Google.com. And then let's say Google link for the link. Now, if you do this, you'll get an error. Um, I was pretty confused by this originally because I'm a programmer by day. I think the issue generally is that uh, it wants you to use these double quotes instead of single quotes. Why that is, I couldn't say, but um, go ahead and use double quotes and see what happens. So that seems to work. You go ahead and, and hover over this, you can get uh, a link to Google, just like so. So this is um, kind of a, a built-in function there are hundreds and hundreds of built-in functions, and this is not the place for us to explore what those are, but um, that's what it looks like to type your own function with an equal sign. But I did want to talk about how you can make your own functions and why they might be useful. And this is going to be a very basic example, but I think I should make a video after this one that explains maybe a, maybe a more interesting use case. It'll be right up here. All right, cool. Um, so let's, um, let's go to the tool me tools menu right here. Oops, no, not the tools menu, the extensions uh, menu. And down here, there's a little thing called app script. Click that and it will take us to this, um, not quite sure what it says on title project. It'll take us to an area where we can write custom JavaScript that we can access inside of our Google sheet. So let's do a basic example and write ourselves a function um, in JavaScript. My function, let's give it a better name. I don't know, my test function. And we won't make it have any arguments. We'll just return something. Let's say return uh, hi. Cool. We're going to copy the function name so we can paste it into our documents a second. You can see that there's a little save button here. Um, it turns out that you can't access custom functions until they are saved. So we're going to save this save project. Let's go back to our thingy here. And if all is well, um, we can type in my test function, press enter, and then we get the output of that function. Pretty darn cool. Um, so the most important thing to realize here is if you know how to code JavaScript or you want to learn how to code JavaScript, you can um, bring all of those skills to bear inside of your spreadsheets. So let's make a slightly more interesting example. You'll see that um, I have a name here. And if I wanted to greet myself, this is very common or early on function work for, for, for any programming language. So let's go back to our project and say function, say my name. All right, and we're going to make a function that will say my name. This is just an example of how to pass some, some arguments into the function. So we're going to want the first name and the, let's say last name, last. And then what we want to return, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these new ES6 templating literals or whatever they're called. Um, so I'm going to say hi, and then we want to say the first name and the last name. So let's say first here. And last here. All right. So let's go ahead and copy this function name and go back to our file. 
So if I press the equal sign, paste in my function name and hit enter, it's going to probably have an error because I didn't pass it any arguments. Um, let's go ahead and pass it some arguments. Let's go up here and say, let's say Mr. Jones, just hard code in some variables. And maybe this will work and maybe it won't. Unknown function and say my name. I did say we have to save these things. I should remember that. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we go back to our, our spreadsheet and here it is. Hi, Mr. Jones. You may or may not want to hard code these variables. You can, you can access your spreadsheet variables like you would in any function. So I'm going to go ahead and say A1 and B1. This is where the name is. You can see that it pulled the name from A1 and B1. I can go ahead and say something like Mr. Jones here. If I want to say hi to Mr. Jones, I can actually drag this little bar down to copy this function. And then you have your function applied to the next row down. So we have A2 and B2. These are the basics. You can you could imagine that you can calculate, make calculations, etc. I don't know. Let's 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 make a function that would get half of the sum of these for, for no real reason except that we can't. So um, let's say function get half. Let's call this A, let's call this B. We want to say A plus B divided by two. We probably want to return this, but let's give it a go. Let's go ahead and save this. Oops, not run it. Let's save it. I guess running it um, saves it automatically. Interesting. All right. So let's say function name get half of, uh, let's say, where are we? We're in A3 and A and B3, A3, B3. I don't know what happens here. Okay, good. Returns two. So this together is one plus three is four, four divided by two is two. So you can see the general idea. These aren't particularly overwhelmingly, uh, overwhelmingly interesting functions, but that's how it works. So um, if you think this is interesting, you want to see maybe a more useful use case. Um, again, here's a video right up, right up there. <laughs> um, I'm pretty new to YouTube, to be honest. I've learned a lot from people sharing their information, their knowledge on YouTube. So I'm trying to give back these days. Um, so if, if you're interested in this kind of thing, let me know in the comments if you're interested in uh, similar similar information or and if you want to help my, my little channel grow, feel free to um, subscribe and um, maybe even hit that notification bell thing so you can be notified when there's a new video. Take it easy.